Today I'm going to show you how to use your Volvo P2 dashboard uh, years 2005 to 2009 with SimHub to work uh, with your racing simulating games. So here's BMMG Drive. You can see the RPM, speed, coolant, and gas level are all reacting to in-game values. So I'm going to show you how to set this up on your own. Uh, we'll get into the hardware portion now. Okay, so I'm going to go over everything that you need to power up your DIM slash instrument cluster to use it with SimHub. First thing you're going to want is your Arduino Uno and your Arduino Uno CAN bus shield. You can connect those now. Just make sure all the pins line up, put them together like that. Then you're going to want your 5 volt relay, which linked below should come with a bunch of these connectors and your 12 volt breakout. Uh, including your 12 volt barrel um, wall plug to plug into this breakout and then the USB cable that comes with your Arduino to connect to your computer. So first thing we're going to do is connect your positive to positive here on your connector. Make sure that that's nice and snug. And then we're going to connect your negative Colors don't really matter, but in this case, they match up to what's pretty standard. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you're gonna connect your positive to the COM port on the relay, which is the middle one here. Make sure that's snug. Then you're gonna connect another output one on the one that's labeled as no or on, and you can leave the NC one blank. That's good to go. Now we come here, you're gonna to wanna to connect signal, which is the top here, to the signal pin, uh, which in the sketch I'm providing for this is pin six on your Arduino. Let's connect that there. And then you have five volt and ground. So in this case, five volt will be orange and ground will be yellow. If I can plug these in here. Okay, 5 volt is orange, ground is yellow. Come here, orange to 5 volt, yellow to ground. Like so. It's good to go. And then you're going to connect your CAN bus high and low to here. You got to push them down, insert them, into the hole and then release. It's kind of finicky, so when you get them in, make sure they stay snug. Okay, now that they're both in there nice and snug, we can plug these in to the instrument cluster. Flip it over here. So to point out what's what here, positive 12 volt is this top pin here negative or ground is there CAN bus high is this lower corner and CAN bus low is right next to it so we have positive coming off of the relay here plug that up top negative is coming straight out of here that was black in our case put that in that corner then we have CAN bus high which is connected to the blue pin so put that one in the bottom right corner and then the other can bus low right next to it these are a bit finicky to get on next to each other but we're good to go okay so now we can flip this back over and head to the computer you can plug it in right now too it should be fine make sure none of your connections come undone when you're moving it around though at this point Plug this into your Arduino Uno. And then your 12 volt power you can plug in. Yours isn't going to turn on like this because you haven't loaded any code into it yet. But once we load the code in, it should, be, it should power up to a state like this and be ready to be connected to SimHub. So we'll go to the computer now and I'll show you what you need to do.
Okay, now that we're on the computer side of things, you're going to want to go to the description and open some of the links I provided. The first one here is for SimHub. You're just going to want to download SimHub. Uh, then you're going to want to download this version of the Arduino Studio. Just download that. You're going to want to come and download this file here, custom Arduino Volvo text file. Go through this process here. that going you're going to want to come to the first library needed come here do download zip second library the one I made for this download zip after that's done you can come into your downloads folder and click show in folder close out of this now you're going to want to extract both of the zip files that were downloaded and then Drag this to your desktop, close that, extract that, okay, bring that to the desktop, we can close that, and then we can put this on the desktop as well. Next, you're going to want to open your file explorer and navigate over to... Um, this here it's gonna I'll, I'll leave this path in the description as well but it's under program files sim hub add-ons arduino arduino ide arduino with the version and then libraries and you're going to want to drag both of these two libraries we just downloaded unzipped into this folder we should be good there we can now go open sim hub at this point you're going to want your arduino plugged into your computer with usb and the 12 volts port plugged in as well that we wired up earlier. So we're going to come in here, go to Arduino, my hardware, select multiple Arduinos even though we only have one. Go to open the setup tool. Once we're in here, you're going to want to switch this to Arduino Uno. Find your Arduino on its port uh, and select that. Before you click upload, you're going to come here, file, open an Arduino IDE. And it should open this on your computer. You're going to want to come over here to SH Custom Protocol. And it won't look like this, it'll be a little bit different. But what you're going to want to do now is go back to the file that we downloaded. It's not going to let you downsize SimHub, by the way, if you have the uh, other, if you have this open. You're going to want to open the custom Arduino Volvo. You can go Control A, Control C. That's uh, select all, copy all. Get out of there. Go back to the Arduino. You can do Control A, Control V, and paste everything in there. That should be good to go. If you're using a different um, CAN bus shield on your Arduino, maybe an older version, this might need to be pin 10 instead of 9. And then if you put the um, signal pin for your relay onto a different uh, pin on your Arduino, you'll change that. I had you set it to 6 uh, when we were hooking up the hardware, so that should be good to go as well. And you can see here, this means it's not saved. So you want to do Control Save, make sure that goes away, and then we can close out of this. Go back to this window, and now we can click Upload to Arduino. Okay, so once the upload's done, you can click OK, close this. And the next thing you want to do is go to the description of the video. There should be, I'm not going to put a file up for this because it's just this um, short little thing here. You're going to want to copy that out of the description and then come into here. I don't know why there's two now. We'll just close one. You're going to come into custom protocol. There might have been two because I had set it up earlier. Click edit computed value and paste from the description should look like that if there's some error or something make sure you copied and pasted it properly you can just click OK and then you can click apply changes this whole time your Arduino will probably be making a bunch of clicking noises from the relay because it's going to be restarting a few times 
because SimHub now has some control over it. So after you have all that set up, make sure it goes to connected. Once everything turns on, you should see the dashboard light up at this point and uh, have some default values. So the next thing you want to do is go over to games. I'm going to be showing you how to do this with BeamNG. I do not know how you uh, set up other games, but I'm sure at this point you can find guides for SimHub to set up whichever other game that they support. You want to come in here to game config, copy this port here. Um, that's all you're going to need from there. So you can close that and click start game. Launch game. Okay, so once this loads, you come into options here, go to other, and you're going to enable outgage support. And then where you copied that port, you're going to paste it there. Okay, there we go. It's having some keyboard issues. Once that's pasted into there, you can then just go back to the main menu, load up the game, and then I will switch to a different camera so you can see this in action. So now it's loading up here. Got it connected to my controller. You can see the RPMs started up. Let everything load in here. And this should work throughout the entire game now. But as you can see, when we drive, we get some speed. The coolant gauge is going up. Whatever settings uh, you want to mess with. I'll show you how to uh, sort of change what displays, like if you want to set the time or have a different temperature value here. Uh, one thing I'll note is that the temperature does not change instantly. The dashboard has some functionality in it that lets it change at more of an incremental pace. So if you send it the value, it's 50 degrees outside, it's not just going to jump to 50 degrees. It'll slowly go to 50 degrees because it doesn't want to... Um, have large temperature changes when it's installed in the car. Like uh, if there's an error or something and it gets a bad rating for a second, it's just incremental at this point. So if you want to program your other values into here that I did not set as default, I'll go back to the computer and show you what you need to do. So we're back here on the computer. We can close BeamNG, come in here, go to custom protocol again. Now, if you want to change these values, this is what's being sent over to the code that we modified. And you can see what it's sending as a result. You can come in here and add in another line or change. We'll just change this line for now, oil temperature, because that's the one that's currently being sent to the temperature uh, for outdoor on the gauge. So you can delete that and click insert property. You can look for any property that the games provide. In this case, a lot of these say not supported, like depending on what game you're using, it changes because as you can see, the water temperature says not supported, but BeamNG is sending this value for water temperature. Or you can even use your temperature of different components on your computer. Um, BeamNG does not support a lot of these, but let's just say that we wanted it to be water temperature, which we're already using, but we can... Uh, that's what we're using for the first one to send to your coolant gauge, but we can just put it here. You can see that it's now passing this value. Click OK there, and then you're going to want to come back here. Go back over to open an Arduino IDE. Back to custom protocol, and here you can see we named it oil temp. We just changed it to water temperature, so you can come in here and modify this and if you want to add new values from SimHub, if you add another value to that list um, you would come in here and kind of duplicate this like this give it a new name and make sure it's reading it until there's a comma and then you'll have the new value that you added and then if you go to the github link that you downloaded the volvo dim library from you can see what each of these does but say you wanted to add something, uh, we could say, let's say we're going to add a 
time. We already have a set time up here, actually. Say the new one we brought in was the time. So we come in here and we can say that it's new name is the hour variable that we're passing in. Uh, and then we do another one for the minute, depending on how you format it coming in. Copy all this over. Just name a new name too. That one can be minute. And then as you see, we're assigning this clock to decimal to the time value and then the time value to set time. So this, whatever you're passing in here will set the time uh, on your dashboard. So you could theoretically just use any values you want that fit in the time. So any value, say zero to 12 and then zero to 60 could be passed in here and then show up on your uh, time or clock on your dashboard. So then to save all this, what you do is do control save, make sure that goes away. I'm not going to do that because uh, that's not configured properly, but then you come back in here, select your Arduino, and once it's all saved, you can click upload to Arduino again, and it'll upload that new code, which will then interface properly with the custom protocol you added right here. So if you have any issues, leave a comment. I'll see if I can help you. But knowing that everyone has a little bit of a different setup, I'm not confident that uh, I'm able to resolve everyone's problem. You might also refer to Sim Hub Guides for setting this up. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you can have your dashboard set up for Sim Hub and play games on it. Thanks for watching.